Hi everyone, I'm Will from Measure Minds. I hope you're having a nice day. Um, it's about to get a lot better because I'm about to show you about a um, new Google Tag Manager cleanup tool. And it's free. And that is always the best price, in my opinion. Um, if you, uh, I don't, just for the sake of time, I don't want to go into a 10 minute video, um, 10, 15 minute video explaining every single step of the process. Uh, I will give you a quick overview. Um, and show you how you can use it. But if you are interested in learning more about the specific steps and what each part does and why, why we do it, then we have a really good blog on, on all of this um, here on our website. I'll just give you a, um, a, just a, a few of the bullet points um, just to kind of give you an idea of what, what happens. Um, but essentially uh, what we do is um, what we're trying to do is create a nice tidy workspace because a tidy workspace is always a good workspace. Uh, so we'll do things like delete pause tags, unused triggers and unused variables because if we don't need them, get rid of them. Uh, rename variables, tags and triggers. So there's more of a uniform way of uh, looking at um, your tag manager container. Uh, so we, you're not scrolling around looking for something that you can't remember the name of. Everything should have a set name and they can locate things quite easily. And it's just much easier to work with. Um, we create new folders for user-defined built-in variables, create user-defined built-in variables. Um, you know, we go through a whole process of, of just, essentially just making your Tag Manager container something much nicer to work with. Um, like I say, if you want to learn more about each step, you can you can take a look at this blog. Um, however, what I want to focus more on today and for the sake of time, I just want to show you um, how you can use the tool. So there's a, a there'll be a link to the tool. Uh, this is the URL. Uh, I use a GTN Spy um, a GTN Spy tool that naughty. Um, to get a, um, an, a view of uh, Sports Direct's uh, GCM account. Um, and what you do, once you're at the tool, you go here, you select um, whichever GCM account you want to clean up. You to select the GCM container, so Sports Direct test in this, this example. You put in the GA property ID, but once you've put all this stuff in, <clears throat> you can then go on to the next step, which is naming your workspace. So uh, our tool will always create a new workspace for you. Uh, the reason why is because if you don't like the end result, uh, then we don't want to have messed everything up for you. And um, you can always revert back. Just something to bear in mind with that. Um, the, the maximum amount of workspaces you can have is um, three. So if you already have three, then this won't work. Um, so just make sure that you have uh, two or less before you, before you um, create um, the workspace. You can then name uh, the workspace whatever you want. So I'll say, um, actually, you know what? I will say it's clean up workspace, why not? Um, you can then uh, select if you want to delete pause tags. If you have tags that you, um, that are paused or you have test tags and you don't want to delete them, uh, you can uncheck that. Um, once per page property, so prevent conversion and page view loading twice. Uh, untick if your site is a SPA. And you can also uncheck if you want to, um, if you don't want to subscribe to the newsletter. Um, and, uh, but don't. <laughs> keep in touch. Uh, once you're happy with everything and you've selected all the things that you want, uh, you can click create workspace and that will just take some time uh, to then create the workspace and then go through all the process of cleaning up your GTM container. All in all, that is the GTM cleanup tool. Um, it's completely free uh, and it's something that we do for our clients. Um, it's the first thing that we do for our clients. Uh, so I really recommend that you add this tool to your, um, your digital marketing uh, arsenal. And um, I hope it works out for you. And 
if it doesn't let us know and also if you don't like what the end result is you can always switch back uh, to your old workspace thank you for watching this video i hope the tool works out for you and um i hope you have a nice day